Follow me on Twitter. Welcome to episode 18 of The Eric Show. Hey! It's officially legal. And with it being episode 18 of The Eric Show, I think we should start taking these things in kind of a little more mature route. Which brings me to my first joke. What do you call a lesbian dinosaur? A lick a lot of puss. Welcome to episode 18 of The Eric Show. I'm your host, Rashid Wallace. Okay, first things first. My acoustic song, So Hard to Tell, is officially done. I uploaded that today as well as The Eric Show. It's in the description of this video or at the end of this show. I'll play it for you guys. Please download it. I definitely think it's something original that you guys will like. Earlier this week, after seven years, Justin Timberlake finally released new music. And people kept asking me, like, Eric, aren't you so excited? Like, it's like, yo, man, like, I'm a guy. I'm not that big of a Justin Timberlake fan. Like, I don't have his... You know, a poster of his from when he was in GQ magazine. I didn't buy that special because he was on the cover. Like, I mean, I'm not that big of a fan of his. Like, Justin Timberlake has his own line of jeans called William Rast. And it's like, if I was such a big Justin Timberlake fan, like, wouldn't I have at least a few pairs of these jeans if I'm such a big fan of his? And it's like, guys, I'm not that big of a fan. But he did release a new song called Suit and Tie. And needless to say, my uterus exploded. Okay, so now, guys, I think it's time we had our second guest. Someone very close to my heart. You know her from Supermarket Fun and, I don't know, or maybe if you saw her on the ferry or something. That's right, my mom. I really hope this goes better than the Joe Albano interview we did. <clears throat> Hi, welcome back to the Carson Daly Show. I'm your host, Eric D'Alessandro. Look over there. Posture, Eric. Very good. This week we have a very special guest. She goes yes. by the name of Mom D'Alessandro. And Marie D'Alessandro. Why would, I, why would I call you that? That's my name. Your name isn't Mom? You need to do something because I feel very... If it bothers you that much, you're f welcome to clean I it I feel very uneasy being here. It's very... Okay, let's move whatever. on. We have here, written from fans, um, what's it like having Eric as a son? Is he wild all the time or what was he like growing up maybe? Tell us. Well, I tell most people I'm not safe in my own home. That's one what, Is he violent? Uh, he, no, he's, he's not. violent. No, no, he's not violent. You don't want the world to know everything that takes place in your home. Interesting. Don't let's not forget the Saint Rock incident. There was there were several incidents, but but a few come to mind that were the most frightening. Uh, here I am, ready to pick up the other children in school because you were still not in school at the time. And the next thing you're on the roof, not 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 the hood, the roof of this tall van. And one mother says, "Your your son is on the roof," you know. And I and I and you wouldn't come down because you're standing up there, and everyone was like. You know, everyone gathered around to I had see an audience. how you had an audience. Even then, see, that's probably where it started. You probably liked having an audience. You <laughs> were a stay-at-home mom up until about 1993, 94. 94. 94. So you decided. I had three kids. I was home enough. I have one more kid. Nah. So you decided. You know what? I'll just start going back to work. I'll leave him with the husband. Your father. This is the same man that when I'd wake <laughs> up in the morning, I would say, "Dad, I'm hungry." <laughs> he would look at me and say, "Me too." <laughs> That's the man you left me with. You know what? We, Foraging we would the eat, kitchen. eat at the table, just stare at each other. <laughs> he didn't know what to say to me. I didn't know what to say to him. Just like, Why didn't you try a conversation? How are you? He was a cop. I liked Power Rangers. What are we going to talk about? He was always drunk. Another question that a lot of people wonder is, are you guys really that fun in the supermarket? Well. Is it really like that? Or do you guys plan it? You probably plan it. That's... Well, we no one's that wild. Well, we, well, we certainly could, couldn't plan it. We plan to go to the supermarket. The fact that you... Interesting. The, the fact that you take out your cell phone when I'm bending over in a not so... What? Well, what a couple of about? times you've taken me at m moments where I probably wouldn't want to be photographed. You couldn't have used any other thing than bending <laughs> over. I, I didn't... Do you want me to vomit all over, all, okay. all over this I understand. Our parents are people too. They do things that That is not you, true. Uh, we become non-people. You weren't non born this age. I wasn't born this age. I don't that. As a matter of fact. So you're a liar as well. 
Oops. You are I'm a... lying. No, I'm not lying. Uh, I'm sorry. You're not wearing the hat. You can't say if you're not wearing the hat. <laughs> so one of the real reasons why I brought you here today is it was my dream to start making videos when I was very young. I knew that I loved the video camera and I wanted, I remember the day I was seven years old and I really wanted my own video camera. And yet I didn't get my own video camera till 2001 when I was 11. What's your problem? I think most people have a problem with me giving it to you at 11. You broke everything you ever came into contact with. But I, I needed it. I think that that's a piece of equipment that not a lot of young children have. And how dare you ask for such a thing at seven years of age? Okay, you know, so how come when we went to the starter, what was it, the starter factory? It was somewhere in New Jersey. Everyone got a pullover NBA uh, starter jacket. Starter jacket. Okay. I wanted a Raptors pullover one, and they just said, no, you're the youngest. Go f yourself. Oh my that was gosh. her exact that, words. Uh, my exact words. Go have fuck you, yourself. <laughs> to a so five-year-old. curse right here with your a mother next I was five. But I let you curse I walked at out. all? I walked out of that starter factory crying, and you guys were laughing. Wow, I love look okay. how great these new coats are. Do you remember? Sucks that kid doesn't have okay, one. Okay, first of all. I, I was, was in the back seat, too, of a station wagon where there wasn't a seat. Just me rolling around. with. Why was there a bowling ball back there anyway? Rolling around it. That hurt. I do and you favored three children. I do admit that our traveling, our traveling arrangements that weren't bolted down. So when I would what, move forward. That's great. Where's my video camera and starter jacket? How was I as a mother to know that you weren't going to go to the nearest pawn shop and trade that video camera? Porn is free seven. on the internet. Porn, I don't go to a pawn, pawn store. P-A-W-N. And you were going to oh, go to that shop sorry. and trade up porn. that that video camera for, let's say, I don't know, a whole porn video enterprising equipment. Are you okay? Okay, so mom, I came home before and you made a comment about my hair. You don't like my haircut. Well, I'm not sure what that puff really is. Isn't okay, it, keep isn't it down. It, uh, anyway, I, you've, you've been told by people, I've been told by people, a lot of people out there think by the way I dress and something about me that I'm gay. Okay. Do you agree with this? Well, I... I, I mean, you're the one making the girls okay. breakfast in the morning when they leave, right? Uh, okay. I don't even wear tight red pants. I, I don't know many men that do. They don't fit me anymore. I don't have them anymore. Oh. I don't know. Okay. The whole crossing the leg things that you just did, I'm not really sure. I mean, I can easily see how people can mistake you for gay. Excuse me? Easily. Gay men, they say, have gaydar. And if gay men are hitting you up, there's a reason they're hitting you up. Or tweeting. Where did you learn the term hitting you up? Okay, what are they? You were born in the 30s. I was not. You don't know the term hitting you up. I was born in the 20s, but I could see. I could You're see, not really helping me out here. I, 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 was, I was hoping you'd be like, no, listen, not at all. He's so manly. Oh, well, all he does is chop wood, fix engines, and. I wish you would. I'd have more help <laughs> around here. No, I'm not the sex thing. I better not be doing that. You should see some of my other tapes. Yeah, I know. Well, in any event. Not you. I don't want you to watch those. I know. <laughs> and the hair thing, I, I don't know. Is it a poof? Is it a puff? I'm not really sure. Is it. Uh, you know, is your baseball hat too tight or too tall? You need to fill it up or fluff it up. I'm not, I'm not really sure what's going on there. For those people who do not know, you and I, a bunch with a bunch of other St. Rockians. St. Rockians. I don't know if that's a word. Uh, we sang, we sang in the church in the choir. Yes, we did. And one of the fun things I love to do with my mom is harmonize. And when I'm writing a song or something on the guitar, she'll just do harmony with, no matter what I'm singing. And it sounds funny because you're like this. Ancient, ancient. hundred-year-old woman singing like like the diarrhea song in the beginning of the show. Definitely diarrhea. Diarrhea. You didn't get me a video camera. You deprived me of a coat when I was cold. What a great mother. Well, how about we let me interview you and I'll present the facts as they really happened. That's all the time we have for mom this week. Of course, that's all the time we have for mom. But thank you for watching. And if anybody ever, uh, you know, there's just been a few sightings for me, anyway, on Staten Island or even in Manhattan. If anyone sees me and they say that they saw me on the Eric show, I'm always going to say, thanks for watching. Of course, the rest of my children think that's totally lame, and that's why I'm doing it. Thank you, everyone. Thanks for watching. My baby. Dear Eric, let's retweet. Our first tweet comes from Alyssa. She says, The Eric Show cracks me up every time. Hashtag fucking hilarious. Thank you very much, Alyssa. I'm glad you enjoy it. Morgan writes, I still love you even if you mess up my name. Matei. <laughs> there you go. Okay, I love you. Hashtag The Eric Show. P.S. You're fabulous, love. I probably still fucked that up because you probably pronounce it Matei. And I said Matei. What did I, I don't even know what the fuck I said. I'm not smart. Thank you very much for watching the show. I love you too. Susan. Hey Eric, love the show. Today is my birthday, so can I please have a shout out? It would make my day. Love you, The Eric Show. Her birthday was actually Monday. Happy, happy birthday, Susan. As you know, tradition here, when we have a birthday, we give you a gift. I have for you, I have for you a Russell Stover 
Marshmallow Santa and a Metro card with like 275 on it. You could you could take us you could you could ride the subway with this. Thank you very much, Susan. I hope you had a great birthday. Capricorn swag. And we're gonna end things with Marissa. She says, Eric, I must have a shout-out on the next video, like you said you would when I was on the phone with you at my sweet 16. This girl and her friends were at a sweet 16 that my brother was emceeing. He's like, he works for the DJ company, and they made him call me, and it was it was awkward, but happy, happy birthday, Marissa. Hope all you guys enjoyed talking to me and my mom. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed this week's episode of The Eric Show. You know, as the sun goes down, it looks like I'm The Undertaker. I don't, I don't really normally look this crackheady. I don't know. Um, so Hard to Tell, my acoustic song is officially out. I uploaded it today as well. It's in the description of this video, or click right here. Click right here. Click it. Click it. I'm waiting. Click it. That's going to pop open another window. Pause that and then listen to this. Thank you very much for tuning into The Eric Show. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I will see you next week. Oh, you're f about four, maybe I'm thinking four years old. You were in the bathtub, and of course you were playing with all your little toys. And so I think the phone rang, or something. You know, I shouldn't have attended to, but I did. I went to get the phone, and I come back, and I know not more than a minute had gone by. And sure enough, you're face down, completely face down. And I'm thinking, oh my God, he's dead! And I scream, Eric! And you, you know, you you must have just you know got up at that point and said, oh, that was funny, right, mom? <laughs> no, it wasn't funny. It wasn't funny. So, you know, you, you, I guess you always thought you were so funny, but those things... I had a good time. Ask any mother. I remember of, that. Yeah. I really remember that. Your reaction mother, was priceless. Yeah, priceless. Shriek, I, I mean, it was going to be bad enough that you were dead, but it was worse <laughs> that I was going to be blamed for it. Another thing, the guy that pronounces GSK, why do you have to have that disgusting burp? I just burped at the end. And that was, I why? Well, why don't you remove it? I mean, do people think that you're going to say every time you say that you burp? Uh, that's not nice. Don't do it. Stop uh, it, Eric. Please. All right, that's disgusting.